first. About 9.30 or 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. It was very cloudy, misting. I decided I was going to bring my walker dog coon hunt. And when I pulled in on this spot, the dog was very, very leery to come out of the truck. I thought maybe it was the drive over. But he was very leery to come out of the truck. I had to drag him out. And when I got the lead on him, he jumped back up on the tailgate and wanted to get back, back into the truck. I decided I was going to make him go hunting. So we walked a little bit, turned him loose. He immediately come right back to me. I kicked him in the rear, fired him up a little bit, turned my light out, and made him go on. About... 15 to 20 minutes into the hunt, he let out a yelp, and I thought that he was getting ready to get treed or get on the track, and I run into something that is hard to explain. It sounded like something was killing the dog, and I immediately thought it was a bobcat or a pack of coyotes, and I run to this spot right here. And I found the head and one leg of the dog here and three legs and the back half of my dog right here. And his entrails were spread from this head to the back half. I was bent down and I turned my light up on high beam, shined out in front of me and directly right here off this log you can see two posts two parts of the log sticking up I seen a Sasquatch when I hit it with the light it did not show any eyes but it let out an ungodly roar and was about as tall as the leaves on that tree I immediately took off running and screaming back to my truck. I was crying. I'm 45 years old. I'm 6'2", weigh 265 pounds, not really scared of anything. But I was, I was terrified. I've never run into anything like that before. Uh, I don't mind telling you I wet my pants. And... I got a hold of Don and had them come and check everything out for me.